Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about one card in particular as the worst speculation in 2016. It is Tamagoyf. So no one has really talked about Tamagoyf. Tamagoyf is a card spec gone completely off. Um, I like these Tamagoyfs better because they have the stamp. And that's, first of all, I will talk a little bit about counterfeits, but not too much because that's not the purpose of the video. If you can get stuff with the little symbol, uh, the problem, people say, oh, can counterfeits not do that? Counterfeits can counterfeit actual US currency, like at the very high level. You don't think they can counterfeit magic cardboard with no security details? Of course they could do it, but why would they? Because it's a lot cheaper for them not to do with the sticker because the sticker is a different process. It involves additional machines. So if you can, I would probably buy stuff with the sticker because I have not seen a good sticker counterfeit ever. And people who say that they can do it or they will do it, there's no reason to do it, right? If you had an eternal master's force of will, which you would need the sticker, again, creating more expenses, or a alliance force of will, which you don't need a sticker, and they're, you're gonna be able to sell them for like $5, to any customer, why, and the customer doesn't care, then why would you as the business, or it's, I don't wanna call it business, you as the counterfeiting operation care. So stickers, and that's why I had Tamagoyfs with stickers on them. I traded um, exclusively out of the original Tamagoyfs into ones with stickers because I feel like at least that offers some protection on these highly valuable cards. Let's talk about the price point. When I got them, they were at the peak, they were $160. $160 just reprinted. The card was $200 at some time, and then it went to $180. I traded for them at $160. I got them at GP Houston. Uh, GP Houston, which was, I forget, it wasn't, sometime in 2015, I wanna say, it was GP Houston. And so I traded for them. Uh, maybe it was 2016, I don't re remember. I traded for them while they were very high. Um, I gave like re really good stuff for, because if you do trade up, you have to give better stuff. That's just what what has to happen. At that time, they were $160, and now they are 120 But you can buy some online for about $110, $100 even, if you can find a good eBay auction. The reason that the card has gone down so much is because it doesn't see much play. Um, it is a card that is dependent on the meta, and if the meta has changed, which it, cur currently a four or five for two was considered like OP. It was just considered too good to be true. However, with the Adrazis and the fact that if you have Adrazi temples, essentially you can get a four four on turn two if you have two temples, uh, and it's just very, very weak compared to the Aldrazi uh, power level. So creatures, this card is based on how strong creatures are in the format. Before it was the strongest creature and you have blue decks blasting for it. You had this card called the best blue card in multiple f formats, Legacy and um, Modern. However, it's been replaced by the Adrazi. The Adrazi A are dirt cheap. I mean, they are like a few dollars. They are a few dollars at most. I, and as a long-term speculation, yeah, the Adrazi are way better than this. This card is held by something called Price Memory, and it happened with Dark Confidant, but af after a while, Dark Confidant's Price Memory eroded, and now it is at the price it currently is. Uh, because it, it it was a good card back in the day and people remember it being a good card so they were will willing to pay more money for it to be a good card, but it just wasn't good. Dark Confident, I, I hate to say it, is not a great card right now because creatures got better, card draw got better, and more importantly, in Tamagoyf's particular example, it was not an expensive card because it was $200 good, it was a combination of it being very good and a combination of it not being that many of them out. So Tamagoy, we've been reprinted two times. We had the Modern Masters one, 2015, and Modern Masters, the original. I expect it to be 
possibly in Modern Masters 2017, although I could also see it not being. I would probably throw the odds at 50-50 that it would not be there. But as a, regardless of whether it's not there or not, as a long-term hold, these are not great because the Adrazi are, in my opinion, they're stronger creatures and they come out relatively fast. Remember, Tamagoyf, you need to work around the card. You need cards in the graveyard, which is relatively easy to do. But if you just wanted the biggest, the baddest creature, the Adrazi are just bigger and badder than anything else out there to the point that they had to ban the Eye of Ugin, right? They had to ban Eye because the deck was OP. But even in the current meta and in the future meta of modern, I just don't see these being that great. Um, it's gone from 160, 180, all the way down to 120. I could see it going down below 100 before 2017 is over, especially true if it's in modern 2017. That will be the straw that breaks a camel's back, because then at that point, it will be, hey, every single modern masters will be in the set from this point on. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Do you have these? Do you, do you guys feel like this is a good speculation, a bad speculation, or an okay one? Bye, guys.